Good day, everyone. Welcome to another episode of Mom, mom and Son podcast. podcast. This is Rose Fres Fausto, the mom, also known as MQ Mom, and Anton Fausto, the son. So, I uh, want to greet everybody another happy Tuesday. Yep. We are already in a new. What is it? I don't. It's cue. called <laughs> MQ. <laughs> it's called modified. Why eh. weird? No, it's modified. It's still enhanced. Okay. <laughs> Na tatawa ako sa jokes eh, na parang modified and the, the stages of the quarantine but there's the the normal quarantine yeah. and then community quarantine enhanced community quarantine there's may mga fortified quarantine with <laughs> L-carnitine and zinc yung mga ganun but it just oh, it just keeps morphing eh. but I actually like it because um the change of the the title or the what they call the whatever queue is happening at Maybe least it gives queue. us that that illusion of progress yes. parang, oh it's it's different naman kasi well me I, we haven't been out and I haven't been out in months we haven't been out in months so I really don't know what the situation is outside like all I can tell is based on social media what people say on the news but then it's nice I would imagine uh, at least may parang some sort of illusion of progress yeah. and I I like that you bring that up because Um, turning one year, one year old, or being one year in something that you do, is also some sort of a milestone. No? And yeah. we, because we are so used to using this time frame as a milestone, we would also like to see some progress from yeah. the very start. And that it that this is our topic of conversation for today's podcast. We will discuss your. One year of being a mixed VJ. That's right. So today is May 19, right? Today is May 19. Yeah. And it, that means it's already a. It has already been one year. Okay, exacto. One year to this date. Yung mixed VJ search 2019 finals. So it's already wow. been a year. And you touched on milestones a while ago. We we also had a, a podcast like last year, a podcast episode <laughs> on the importance of milestones. And this is something that I didn't really. Uh, wasn't really in my head naman na oh I'm gonna be one year na parang noon na nakikita ko lang yung mga um, you know those memories you yeah, see on Instagram on, face- on uh, Facebook uh, no, on one Facebook. year ago na one year ago this was happening one year ago parang ganun and medyo nagugat na ako na wow one year na pala like first of all wow ang bigas ng panahon one year na and second wow I've survived <laughs> <We've known laughs> na, uh, one year so today we're gonna just be kind of going back to it Um, recalling the the journey that was getting there and how it's been so far. Yeah, sige. So maybe you can um, bring us back to May 19, 2019, and this was the finals of the Mix VJ Search for 2019. And I missed that. Oh my gosh! You know, yeah. I had been looking forward to attending this. But I had that dizzy spell, so I missed one of the most important <laughs> events in your life. But your brothers, Martin and Enrique, were able to join. Yeah, you and a couple Papa of friends also of got yep. to. Yes, yes. Yeah, got to go. Um, Tell us about this. It was it held was, where? It was held in this Twelve Monkeys or oh, yeah. something like that. Um, I never really go there. That's probably one of the first times I was there. But I, I would see it a lot uh, in that Ortigas area. And I remember I was really nervous. As in, uh-huh. well, magamang it's such a big deal. I was really nervous. From my outfit, pagang I remember asking EJ na Sean, one of the finalists, <laughs> still my good who's friend a, now. Who's a fashion? He's a fashion guy. Um, I was asking fashion. like, oh, okay, what? What? Because I was thinking of like wearing up. I wanted to wear a polo. Because para para may konting pagka formal naman hindi yeah. mo na I look kind of neat but at the same time like I wanted it to look kind of yeah I wanted to look kind of fashion then so I had these these pants from Uniqlo na <laughs> commercial na may, uh-huh. ano oh para may checkered siya but the thing was the small size of those pants fit me perfectly except the waist and then you <laughs> but not just it doesn't fit as in yung parang it would only fit me if I had These legs, but I was like first year high school. Okay. So I don't I don't know what their sizing is. And then you medium naman nila, it fits me so waist perfectly, but everything else is too go on. Loose. So I had to have it altered. Like I don't know if it was once or twice. But I know it's such a long process. process just to you know get there and just to have that outfit. And then when I was there, I was so nervous. 
Asin na pa CR, na, na pa number two pa ako before. <laughs> I remember na, are we gonna start the ba? Sige. Parang, oh I just let it out. Na, like, uh, like, uh, naman, that's gonna be while we're on stage or while we're being asked questions. So, oh my god. I just had to get it out. Na. And all those little things, I just realized it now. Na, it's such a big deal to us. Like, we have all these little things and little tiny, um, yeah, you know, t- little tiny things that worry us and parang seem like the world to us. But then, at the end of the day, I mean, not at the end of the year, I could care less about what I was wearing, mm. um, how how fit my pants were, ganun. Parang, that this one year has helped me realize na, you know, I, I, I do value the things uh, that pressure me, that make me nervous. But at the same time, I should also learn to sort of relax a little more mm. na, kasi I had that mentality na ano eh, na you have to be all in, like, 24-7, 100%, that's all you think about, that's all you you worry about. But then, you know, that's not, it's not your entire life naman. It's a big part of my life. But then, I was also getting very stressed about it. Yeah. I was also, like, it was really, it wasn't something, it was something that preoccupied me. Yep. Uh, as a whole. Was it Hagataba? I mean, yeah, you... in those days coming there. But you didn't look like you were shaky or anything, you know. But, I know you to be a passionate person and din nga you were saying na uh, all out 24/7 and sometimes it's really a difficult balance because w- would you say na ah, dapat huwag masyado or maybe you just remind yourself that I'm like this right now because this is what I'm into yeah. but there is an end to this kind of high yeah uh, diba adrenaline kasi you cannot sustain that eh anyway so gusto ko malaman how you really felt when it was finally announced you were the first to be yeah. announced <sighs> it was like a dramatic moment na it was, it was you kept on saying ah, oh my god oh my god parang you could not react yeah, that was the closest I would have because you know, I'm, a, alam na naman, I'm a big basketball fan <laughs> and every basketball fan kind of has a dream of making it to the NBA and we all kind of have we all kind of want to make that buzzer beating mm. uh, shot to win the game mm. and then I always think like what dance am I gonna do, diba? Because yeah. like, you see all these NBA players na after they shoot a game-winning shot, they have this signature like go-to ano, uh, eh, oh, eh. Um, movement or nila. dance. Uh. Parang when LeBron wins, he, he does the pumps. Parang mm. every, you know, you have those signature things. Eh. And I was thinking, oh, this is probably the closest I'm gonna have. Because I don't think, I mean, as a host also, and um, being in a, my, my experience with competing, mm. hosts don't really compete. Uh, dancers, it's a team thing. So, parang you just you just go with a team. Yeah. But in this non arena, it's just, solo triumph. Yeah, na, it's all about you. But when it happened, when my name was called, like I don't, I don't think he, I can't put it to one word. Like most of it was like, oh my gosh, it's really happening. Because Shepard, I really you know visualize that mm. a lot of times, and you mm-hmm. can just imagine what it would be like if they finally call my name. Yeah. Uh, and when they did, parang Surreal. Ah, tagaga. But at the same time, but, you know, it didn't sink in yet. But at the same time, like it was my head telling me, Uy. "You're gonna be happy." Ah. It, it was like it's like when you imagine you're by the imagine you're at the beach and you're in the shallow part, and then you see a really huge wave about Uh-oh. to hit you. Like you know it's coming, but you don't feel it yet. Yeah. Ayan, that's what happened to me. Oh, para siguro something was suspended there. Ganon ba yeah. yun? Ganon mo. Parang naka- and So many things came <laughs> to my mind. Eh. It wasn't. It wasn't just the oh I want this. It was like oh I'm finally gonna have a like a quote unquote real job. Mm. Oh um, like the ones watching me. Uh, it was I remember Digo and Kimarty were there and then yeah. uh, Shane, Gian, Lance, and Isabel were there. Parang, oh they're gonna be so happy for me. They're gonna be so proud. Like yeah. there's so many things. Like, <laughs> oh I'm gonna get to do this. Oh I'm gonna get to do that. I think there's so many. Finally became to like how do you say it? It comes to fruition because mm. the the whole VJ search, the whole like month and a half, month and a half, Baka yeah, more, a little bit two more. months since the I remember March 16, mm-hmm. Digong's birthday was when I was at that weekend. That was the audition day, okay, mismo. But we didn't start like doing challenges yet. Mm-hmm. But my mind's been there for two yeah. months. Wow, it's kind of like a kind of like the lockdown oh, oh yeah that's right it so started. March 15 diba yeah the lockdown started when March, March 15 it, oh near Deacon's birthday oh oh my god oh my so gosh. exactly now, you know? so well, it's, it's really we're still on lockdown ish but it's another kind oh no oh, I know yeah. wow it, it, it's a, it's like from a lockdown in my head now it's a lockdown <laughs> in the whole the world <laughs> yep 
Okay, Same. so so now it's been a year. It's been twelve months of being a VJ. Well, if, even if you say that you don't, you didn't really yeah, start working. We, yeah, soon just after, to like, but just you already for, held the yeah, title. Yeah, for the on on the letter record show. Na, we started another July. Ju- July. July. We officially started July. But you were announced in. We're, yeah, we May. announced May nineteen. Right. So how has it been? How has this uh, month, this year? I think that when whenever you expect or whenever you're kind of looking forward to this whole new journey you're gonna you're about to begin it never turns out the way you expected it or assumed it was gonna be Mm -hmm. Uh, i felt the same way with entering high school entering college like when you're about to enter like oh it's gonna be like this it's gonna be like that people Mm. tell me it's like this then when you experience it like yes those things are true you're experiencing what you envision and um sort of foretold or imagine you would be experiencing but it feels so different like it's a new like there's nothing kasi to compare it to eh yung if you have a brand new experience like example you're tasting chocolate for the first time yeah and you have nothing you've never tasted anything in your life that's near chocolate yes you don't really know how to you're just processing that information for the first time that's kind of how I feel that's how, that's how I feel about that's how the, I felt about the, the past journey, you know? year in the past oh ganito pala siya Uh-oh. and then parang ah isn't it supposed to have like this? Shouldn't like we? I'm trying to look for ways to like compare it to it to tell me na oh, tama naman tong ginagawa ko. Oh, mm-hmm. I'm, I'm in the right, I'm in the right place. I'm in the right path. Like if I look at the jobs of Kim Martin and Dikong, syempre, totally different industry, totally different um, structure, structure, schedule. Uh, it's really you really have to learn it on your own, and then now is when I really, re- really realized, really, really realized um, <laughs> how hard the journey is gonna be. Cause how j- hard the journey has been. Because I would always hear, and I'd also tell myself, that, oh yeah, this is the this is the road less taken." But I felt kind of proud about it. Pangain, oh, I'm forging a new path. Ganon. You're and brave. I, yeah, and and my head knew that it's gonna be harder. The mm. not, well, not. I, I couldn't say harder because I don't know what it's like to do the road that is traveled a lot. But I knew it was going to be very different yeah. and I would have to learn things on my own. Mm-mm. I thought I kind of did it now. But then, parang, as time went by, I really, like, I was kind of forced into it. Na, oh, I really do have to learn these little things. And I have no, um, no standard of, like, or criteria. Na uh. If you do this, then, okay, you go on to the next yeah. level. It's not like, a video game it's not like school and that okay you do these tasks you're gonna move on to the next level no questions asked like it's that Structured concrete and simple no? wala kasi one there are no rules naman tagaga on how to quote unquote improve next what does it mean to improve ba? cause it's so especially as a host like it's so subjective Mm-mm. that you don't know what is good and kasi what is good to one person won't be good to the other person what is yep. you know funny entertaining relevant to one person isn't the same to the other so it was a mix of like mix <laughs> it was a mix of knowing what are my priorities are what kind of host do I want to be where do I see myself what am I doing now but there's so many things that you have to just kind of figure out this is probably oh yeah this is the the most intense and most um hands on and very serious uh, experience I've had with trying to figure something out because mm-hmm. like we have video games and then you I don't I'm the type of person who not read the I know I don't read the instructions the manual. or the how to you just play and you get a go and then you just that's part, your generation no? yeah no but then you minutes. kind of you you kind of get a sense naman, no matter what video game that is you know naman when you're winning and like you know the goal mm. like okay you're supposed to defeat this character or you're supposed to finish first and you just figure out how to get there now I don't know what finishing first is yeah and I don't know like what type of game it so is. So let's let's try to unpack that. What do yeah. you think have been your wins, your losses all uh-huh. throughout this year? So what what do you want to start with? The wins or the losses? <laughs> Maybe the losses. Okay, let's go to the Just losses. So that's the last thing in my head are the wins. Yep, yep. The losses. Okay, the losses. So well, these are the things that uh, what? Uh, what well, you say, you felt the, oh my god, that's I wouldn't a wanna or oh my god. Uh, male or yeah. you're frustrated again. Yeah, just, just. I tell probably want to change the term. Maybe not, not losses. losses. Probably okay. like challenges. Um. Insights or no, because it's not a loss. If you make a mistake, it's not a loss. Like you. you okay, gain, so let's reframe that. Um, it's the failure of, according to Papa, 
What's his turn? Oh, di ba? If you learn how to... Ano, losing pala. If you learn how to lose, you, you never will lose. never lose. Probably so, like, so these are the unexpected things that uh-huh. you didn't intend to happen, but then they brought you good lessons. Okay? Yeah. Okay, ba yun? Okay. Sige, sige. So, what are those um, well, the quote first, unquote The losses? first one I can really think of, and I've, I've said the story a lot, is my interview with Haley Steinfeld. Okay, right, tell us about that. So, to paint the picture, this is my first big interview. It's the first time na international I was gonna, caliber. Interview uh, an international artist, someone I already them? knew. Mm-hmm. Kung sino siya, yeah, Haley so Steinfeld was in the was in the Pitch Perfect movie. Pitch Perfect. Also oh, in Hollywood na. Yeah. Um, she is in Bumblebee. Bumblebee. She was the lead. She was the lead in actor. Bumblebee. She was she was in a bunch of other movies, but those are I would say those are the two most known. Yeah um, and. And she's a singer also. She has a lot of yes. songs and, and hits. And Filipinas love her because yeah. she's what? Like one-fourth Filipina? Yeah, you know, the, the, blood. <laughs> the usual um, you like to part, always... <laughs> part Pinoy. I mean, she doesn't speak Filipino. But then but we... she knows lumpia and everything. Yeah. Because what's this again? The mamba? I think the I lol, forgot. The maternal grandfather. I just, I just remember na lang her pronunciation. So what happened was... We the the interview was in Marco Polo, so it's the first time that I had to go outside of the mix studio to interview someone, and it is that big. And who was gonna join me was Shabdo me, uh, cameraman, writer, and our boss, as in the channel head at the time, Sir yeah. Andy. He was there, and but you were the lead interviewer. You were the, I was only, the only interviewer, interviewer from yeah. mix. <laughs> it wasn't like I had someone else to <laughs> yep. get to. And then so we got there, medyo maaga. Um, and I was nervous, but I was confident. I was like, I had the same mindset I had going into a dance competition. Like, yeah. okay, let's I'm about, do this. Yeah, like just do your best. Mm. Taga yung, just do your best. And then, um, what before we started, Shabra, Sir Ande was giving me tips. I was like, oh, I'm so I'm nervous. I'm nervous. I was being honest, like, oh, I'm nervous, but then excited. And he was then he was telling me a lot of things like, do this, but don't do that. I forgot na exactly what it na. It was sort of like a mix of be yourself, be comfortable, <laughs> ask relevant questions. Oh, yeah. There's so many things that they make sense. I'm like, yeah, I'm supposed to do all of those. But then like, I feel like that kind of added to a sick of my brain ko by yeah, that time. Yeah, actually. And then when that, I started it, I was the first. Okay, mix was the first. And then if you look around, it was a restaurant. It was like in those rooftop restaurants mm-hmm. na, na bar. Um, so the magamig yung aircon. And there were so many other media teams there I remember radio stations I remember I forgot her name eh. she was uh, she's a really Christine good host Christine Jacob was she the host in the She Rose yes Christine yeah, she Jacob she was there I was thinking uh, oh like what if I introduced myself and said I met her again but then I'm like nah just focus on uh, no. I just focus on <laughs> Haley I mean that's another conversation I'll have to like, <laughs> mentally prepare for eh. because I idol and then I was the first one and then when it started I just rattled it right before I even started talking because it was like three takes. Eh. The first one is okay, uh, Vijay and Ton look here, and then na off yung camera, and then mm. look here to another camera, and then I know, it was three times before we finally got to go. Okay, welcome everyone, I'm Vijay and Ton. Parang, there were so many, uh, 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 okay. and so many na ano naka pero syempre, confident. I'm like, oh, sige, parang, okay lang, rocky start. Yun, okay, oh, yun yung rocky start ko. Then I said, blah, 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 she needs no further introduction. Haley Steinfield. Oh, you and said then, field instead of I said field. field. And then, well, mabit naman si Luigi, Luigi from MCA. He he go, he comes and goes, oh, Anton, it's uh, Steinfeld. And I'm like, oh. And then that happened. I mean, it just, parang, you know So those, wait, how did he say it? He, he, he stepped and he goes, ah, sorry, Anton. So did you have to re-say it? Yeah, I, I redid ah. it. I, I, I redid it. You, I, you wouldn't see the, ah. I hope they never show that, that footage. <laughs> um, But it exists of me saying Steinfeld. So yun, and basta, that, that thing rattled me and the whole time I was really just thinking like because okay, you don't are let conscious also I was always, so conscious ano, of always wanting to pronounce the name yeah. of the person and correctly it's, and it's not like a dance like the dance competitions I've experienced where you just go on to the choreo that you practiced because this one there is no it's not choreographed eh? like you can you have your questions <clears throat> but you really need to be fluid and yep. have to get to ask your questions but at the same time let it flow naturally so you can't really just force your talking points like you have to you have to converse you have to be you have in to, the yeah you have to look in the eyes and look yep. very interested at the same time <laughs> you have to think of what am I gonna say next and next I have to make sure I, an- I ask these questions because that's what Mix is telling me to and at the same time all the media people were watching and then our boss was watching uh, but she was so nice as in if anything thank God she's so nice mm-hmm. na, I read as in 
yes, she's a professional, and of course, it's it's you know it's courtesy. You don't get mad at someone who pronounced. I mean, you you don't you don't show naman na parang ambosos naman nun, She didn't react at all. She didn't react. Like she uh. was just smiling. Oh, that's okay. Parang ganon. Uh. I I would say na I felt like she's really like I think it's genuine niceness na Uh-oh. it doesn't matter. Like oh, it's okay. You made a mistake, ganon. But which is what I should have done. I should have just gone. Oh, sorry. Let's start again. Yeah. Like I had to. Like I had that. I was. I mean, you were you were on the track na, eh, and you couldn't. Parang like I was too in it. I didn't mm. get to zoom out and go like, oh, that's a mistake. Just yeah, restart. Button. Just let it go and move on. Like I yeah. couldn't let it go. Like I was still trying to go. Let's say you, you take path A. This is it to the. This is the only way to do a oh. great interview. So I was going. I was going. I was going. I made a mistake. No, no, no. This is the way. Instead uh. of up, I hit a dead end. Up, let me. Let me start. Let's start. Let's go to tra- um path B na lang. Okay. Sige, so what is your main lesson? And I know that I remember you really agonizing about that even after. Yeah. And <sighs> and it seems like it was no big deal because you were able to talk to her yes. again. You were able yeah, to redeem God. yourself, interview so her once again. There was an again. interview I think like a, f- a few weeks ago or last month or something. Uh she released a new single again and there was like a virtual press conference and then Mix had another exclusive uh, interview with her so it was VJI and I and we talked to her again then I told her that story na um I actually I actually mispronounced, mispronounced your right? name going on and you know what funny thing uh, even after like, apparently that was like not really a mistake eh. but uh, I was told then after na medyo tumagal pagay yung sa pag- pagkwentuhan of that of of the of that part so we only had a few minutes because she's an um, international artist but then now that I'm looking at it and also just recalling the whole Steinfield experience <laughs> it's okay I mean okay now I don't feel as in I'm not as like I didn't carry that that mistake for too long because mistakes someone are just oh like I really wish I could have a less personal really attachment. attachment to my mistakes because the mistakes really reflect me eh parang yeah but uh, you know in this age kasi this is what I've learned already yes we make mistakes and yes we should ac- uh, allow ourselves to agonize over mm-hmm. those mistakes but just having at the back of your mind that this is not really a big deal in the bigger scheme of things yeah. especially as time passes yeah and I wanna be the best host I can be the best VJ I can be and that's impossible if you're not gonna make mistakes mm. Baga, if you're always the one that just plays it safe yeah. and you just corny you know when like you just say the right things like you just say what's expected mm-hmm. like you don't shock anyone whatever but you're not really gonna you're not really gonna move up you're not really gonna mm. like evolve as a as a host in whatever you're doing and you know I don't know if this is a biased opinion because like for instance your next episode next interview with her mm-hmm. was spiced up by that yeah I, it, I will, it was because it, it in our opinion also of course yeah but but I'm just trying to imagine me watching others mm-hmm. do that kasi syempre magiging pare-pareho naman na lahat yan eh di ba if, yeah. if she would be interviewed by others they would talk about the work yeah. that she's doing how she's during the which pandemic is what, which is what we're supposed to do then along yeah the oh but then so now there is a different ingredient in flavor. this uh, oh, so uh, if you're okay. going to put them side by side yun. so ano naman yung mga Super wins. Ah, mm-hmm. uh, super wins. I would say meeting the meeting people. I would mm. that would have to be one of the most, um, the the biggest gifts that being yeah. a VJ has given me. Because one, I get to work with uh, the other VJs, and I've I've really been. I, I would see Robbie. I would see Ai, and then to get you know first hand experience with them, and not just them telling us tips. Eh, because mm-hmm. I would imagine before na. Oh, if you work with your idols, like they'll give you tips, parang. Um, but then now, also, I, I want to go back to like my episode last week, the Last Dance, the the documentary of Michael Jordan. Yes. His teammates learned from him, not from him, like telling him, "Oh, you should do this, you should not do that." Not through lecture. But, yeah, but but through. What's the very nice way to say? It? Like seeing um, them actually yeah, do it. Diba? It's like parenting, eh, diba? Yeah, you lead by Kids example. Kids don't do what you say; they do what you do. Do what you do. Yeah, that that's probably one of it, and. I really kind of craved for it because it was almost a year after graduation, and then I have all my all my good friends. They're entering these companies. They're they're being they're part of teams. Ah, uh, because what you were doing people. is pure solo yeah, jobs. Yeah, freelance. No? I get to work with people once, and then goodbye. Like uh, I'll see based. you again if ever you get me to host again, or <laughs> get small if if you yeah. get me to choreograph for you again. But then I choreograph first dances 
of weddings. There's no second dance. There's no. Oh, wait for it. Tenth I mean, anniversary. Yeah, you gotta re- you got to revisit Ten them. Years until you see your office mate. Yeah, you, there's yeah. no. You don't want to see. Oh, it's I a... see my teammates every five years. <laughs> well, I'm gonna eh. So that was it. Also, getting to work with my age. Ko na, and the thing is, yung medyo kaugali ko kasi mm. we're in that because we like to talk. We like to deal with people. We want to be on stage. Like, hindi hindi ko na ano eh. If we have to speak in public. It's not. It's not the same experience I have with with other people. Na I know that I have to be the one to really like. Uh, I have to hold the mic. I have to carry the conversation for this. Like, oh, okay. Like, you so, can do it. This person can do it. Like, it's a. I'm in. Like, I'm in the. I'm. I'm in the planet. I found. I found a planet that with with creatures like me. Co-creatures. <laughs> so shout out to VJ's Robbie, Ai, Sam, Danny, Edward, and of course also previously Aya and Ilona. Ilona. Oh, I memorized the mama. <laughs> yeah, of course. So the biggest um, triumphs for you there, and the the greatest gift is really getting to interview people because you genuinely you genuinely yeah. love talking to people. It's, eh? it's, I, um, I I know I like talking to people, but then now must na ano ko eh? Because before I only like talking to my friends. Like I only like talking to people I'm comfortable with, mm. and um like I'm 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 not that worried. But then now I, I've seen uh this new art and had this new appreciation for conversation. Yes. Especially with people I don't know. Yeah. And having to learn their story and and try to see the fun in it. Because I mean it's not like I like all genres of music and it's not like I'm a fan of it's the reality you're not a fan man, of all the musicians yeah. and artists that you interview but there's something about their story that, that you connect to like you don't need to certainly wanna you don't add them to your to your Spotify playlist like, that's not like a, you have to mm. like for them for you to like them like oh there's probably something about their narrative there's probably something about um, why they got to the music scene that mm. I kind of relate with why I went into hosting like there's so many there are those angles and I've gotten more like it, it humanizes these idols more because before like oh my gosh I'm gonna interview a big artist gonna but then now it's like oh I'm gonna interview this other person Ben and, and Ben lang naman yung in interview mo ganon yeah oh but I was there most of them I would say that was a good interview but I mean it, it was challenging because there just, were too yeah, many of there them there are nine there are yeah. nine and it, it and was we a were, zoom interview yeah um but it, 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 well, I've been a VJ for a year. Um, I can say I learn a lot, but I've still. But I I realize now that I even have way more, more to, learn. to learn and so much more room for improvement. And just just to bring up back the Ben and Ben, like I've been a VJ for a year, but that was still like I was kind of brought back to the nervousness I felt for the Haley interview. Oh, talaga? Because like, oh, that's ben how ben. big they and are. And the thing is with Ben and Ben, I've watched them live like four times already, mm-hmm. and they are really one of my favorite. The OPM artists and it I realize also another bonus lesson is I think it's actually harder to interview people you really look up to and you've known and you know of them na talaga before because mm. like there's that personal and it's like oh my gosh it's them like, yeah, oh, yeah compared to parang looking at it as a oh, as I wanna get to lang. know this person yeah, parang yeah na parang, okay let's let's learn who this person is let's share that person's story to the rest of the world. Yeah. Tsaka kumisan parang you don't know is this a question that uh, I should be asking or is it assumed that I should have already known this yung mga ganun ano. Yeah. Pero alam mo we share in that fondness for really talking to people. Ako naman my belief is that I can always learn something from everyone. Kesyo simpleng tao ka lang or ikaw yung may-ari ng the the largest company in the country ganon yeah. parang nakakatuwa because as you said earlier everybody is just human yeah so it's nice and everyone to... has their own stories and yes I'm 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 in the process of writing my own story and going back to what I said a while a while ago there really is no this time there's no instructions talaga it's mm. not that I just didn't want to read the manual there's no manual talaga <laughs> and I would say the biggest my biggest learning if I could sum it up uh, or I mean I've shared a lot of it but the biggest learning I would say is learning it's, it's, the, it's the you are gonna have to learn and you are gonna have to figure out things on your own and it's still a challenge and struggle to me with being okay with the many many bumps along the way mm-hmm. but yeah I guess that that's to sum up the one year so far yeah uh, of what it is for me I also want to bring up that question which was asked by the mother of VJ Edward. When will you para bang stop doing something, no? 
And I like the way you answered that question because mm. instead of just, diba kasi syempre, kadalasan you would say, oh, if it doesn't make me happy anymore, yung mga ganyan, ano. Yeah. But tell us what you well, said. Well, that's kind of part of it then naman. I mean, it's a sign. It's, yeah, it's yeah. a sign. It's not the only criteria, but uh, if something doesn't make you happy anymore. It's a symptom of something. Anymore, yeah, yeah. But um, you said my answer was this was in one of the past mix it up episodes we talked about growing up yeah and that's kind of like the, well that's kind of related then to what we're talking about now um I'll I'll stop doing something when it doesn't you know align okay. with my priorities and values anymore but more than that is if it sacrifices my priorities yeah because there are things that they don't you know they don't really align with my priorities but maybe that's because oh I should have this new priority or mm. I have I should value this new thing but mm. then. There are those core things like, you know, taking care of yourself, mm-hmm. um, you know, still having value and you know, make making like feeling useful. Like those are those are priorities to me. Yeah. Eh? And if they sacrifice those, like if sticking to one to one thing, I'm not not just saying like about your job. Like it can be a person, it can be a hobby. If it's already sacrificing the priorities you set and the values you already have in life, that's like a clear indication that. Uh, maybe you shouldn't be doing that thing anymore or as much yeah so after one year uh here's looking to forward to another year and mm-hmm. a very challenging one because really things are changing yes no? but you know what the i mean it's it's a uh, everyone's thinking about how oh my gosh it's changing and everything me honestly i'm kind of thankful that we're going through such a change because yes, at yes. least i know like oh do you know how because Everyone had that. Ano, I I came. I was in the place na everyone kind of knew what they were doing mm-hmm. and knew that okay, if you do this job, you're gonna get promoted to this one, ganon. But then, parang ngayon, because of the pandemic, like everyone is everyone is forced to have this clean slate. Na okay, right. we're entering this new age. That's we all have to figure this out. So, parang, at least, I guess for me, ah, just just individually it lessens the pressure mm-hmm. it lessens the the comparison na, oh my gosh si ganyan uh, si si ano si person is already like this you know it's already <laughs> like that at least minus oh we're all figuring this out so yep. yeah so at least now i feel like oh we're on the same boat na more or less yeah and this one the change the drastic change that happened really forces everyone to pause and reflect no? And this is really what's also needed if you've been in doing something for a year. It's a milestone. It's time for you to reflect and then papano, papano mo pa ngayon uh, haharapin yung susunod na taon. So, exciting times ahead, yeah. Anton? And, very, and scary also, yeah. <laughs> honestly. But then, I'm, ha- I'm very happy. I'm very thankful. And I want to give a shout out again to the, the whole mixed family for believing in me, giving me this chance. Uh, hopefully, I've I've earned it, naman so far, and I'll I'll do my best to continue to keep proving that I deserve, I deserve to be where <laughs> I am, and I thank you. And I thank you. So please invite them to always watch out for your. Yes. What are your standard um, schedules? So, so there's more now, no? Than yeah, there's prior more to now. Pandemic. We have the the regular mix daily top ten. That's Which every is Monday. Monday. It's posted online, so you can watch it anytime, of course. Uh, we also have a new show called Mix It Up every Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday at 3 p.m. And I'm you on, are? I'm on there on Tuesday. That's It's the Baguettes show. So it's the Baguettes. Nga. It's me, Edward, Sam, and Danny. And then on Saturday, all six VJs were there. Mm-hmm. Um, you, you know ba? And oh, then your your challenges. Oh, yeah. yeah. You, you we, have, have uh, we have weekly vlogs and challenges. It's posted on our YouTube account, Mix Philippines. They make us do pranks they make us <laughs> do dares yeah fun fun stuff but very challenging yep very challenging as well <sighs> okay so okay. happy anniversary <laughs> happy anniversary and done and thank you again everybody for listening to this episode of mom, mom and son, son podcast. podcast this has been rose fresh fausto the mom also known as fq mom and anton fausto bye guys bye. stay safe the Mom and Son podcast comes out every Tuesday, 7 a.m. and can be streamed on Spotify, YouTube, Buzzsprout.com, Apple iTunes, and Google Podcasts. Join us every week for your weekly dose of family, finance, passions, and everything in between. We want to know what you think. Email us at antonfausto at gmail.com and join the conversation. Music